the show. The show for me was a real standout and I picked out some highlights from the pre-fall collection that I really did enjoy. One of them being this particular look here with this oversized bomber jacket. Um, you know, I feel like Demna is always the king of bomber jackets. Um, the cut on them is supreme. Um, the only probably person that comes near to cut in the perfect bomber jacket for me is maybe Rick Owens. Um, he doesn't do these big padded exaggerated baggy size puffers anymore um it feels like he's kind of abandoned that for the more cropped and fitted styles so if you want that big boxier fit of a bomber jacket but still has you know the quintessential balenciaga bits and pieces there where it kind of hogs your waist really well balenciaga is a way to go there so that's one of my favorite looks and then continuing on um i really did like um this looks as well with the leggings with the drop cop shorts obviously these extremely exaggerated xl trainers or triple x i think three xl trainers are really up my fucking lane so i'm going to be talking about those later as well one of my other favorite looks is this particular look here where you've got this scarf ensemble that i think attaches onto the inside of the hood which kind of turns it into a babushka style type of garb which i really am fond of big chunky chain the hoodie size looks really great as the shorts and again the sneakers look really cool um obviously this look here with the pink ensemble is quintessential la it kind of looks like something you would imagine paris hilton to be wearing right um with this cropped um hoodie and the big sweatpants and these boots when i originally saw these boots i assumed that they were a collaboration with ugg I thought Balenciaga collaborated with Ugg, but essentially what they are, if you're not, mis if you're aware, Balenciaga has this boot at the moment that's called the Alaska boot. It's really fucking nice. It's basically their version of a snow boot. And essentially what Demna or Balenciaga has done, they've morphed an Ugg boot with that snow boot they've got called Alaska and they've turned it into a Balenciaga version of an Ugg boot which is really cool so you have this really nice chunky sole um you have this really nice chunky design and the boot comes up just underneath your knee as well so it's really really nice and i feel if you look zoom in i feel like it's like a pile lining as well on the inside so they're really really fucking warm and they come in loads of different cool colors that i really like to be fair i'm really fond of those boots i know some people won't like them but i like them um again this tracksuit look i like the look of as well um this zip up this zip hoodie that they do um might be a bit of a sleeper it looks like it fits really fucking well nice slim on the arms really short on the body but also just doesn't look super tight i don't know how to describe it maybe it's a tailoring thing or the way it's been cut it kind of just fits perfect so i really like the look of those as does the sweat velvet sweatpants and again those boots in the black looks incredible so you've got them available there in the pink and also you've got them available in the black i'd wear that you know obviously head to toe you've got the same look there in the red I love the little addition there with the fong peeking out. Very dramatic, very extra. This big bag is really cool too. It's like a beach bag. You've got the whole mesh lining on the mesh um, on the outside. It looks like a beach bag. And you've also got the inside tote. That looks really cool. I'm sure this Erwan coffee cup Balenciaga thing is going to be really expensive as well that they've got. I'm not really too mad at that. You've got the same hoodie again. The same tracksuit looks, sorry, in grey. And then you've got the boots in brown which again even if you're not a fan of Balenciaga themselves I think design wise these are really cool like it's it's like the it's like a it's like a you know an Ugg boot that's been modernized or that's been made to look a little bit more substantial because that's one thing I don't like about Uggs as much as I would like to wear a pair I feel like especially the way that I walk and the way that I fucking gallivant around town I'd probably destroy an Ugg boot in 10 minutes but I feel like these have a little bit more give a little bit more you know a little bit more weight to them um it, when it comes to the outsole when it comes to the you know the construction the build whatever they just feel like a little bit more substantial so I'll probably go with you know go with these over an Ugg boot but obviously these are going to retail for far more and Ugg. I'm assuming because if I'm not mistaken, the Alaska boot is like 600. So I won't be surprised if these are end up being like a grand or like near that. Do you know what I mean? So they're not going to be cheap. Um, I love the color combination with this particular look. You've got this really nice neon um, long sleeve crop top, some short mini skirt with the black boots. I think the neon with the black is just a cool combo and the white as well. So that would just be something that I'll probably borrow for my color palette when it comes to shit that I style with my own outfits. Um, the all white look, I'm all for it's something i'm going to be definitely doing a lot um going into the winter months wearing all white when i go out especially to raves fuck it just to kind of mix things up a bit but this look looks really cool with the white boots the baggy pants and the baggy long sleeve turtleneck vibe and i love those fucking glasses right the visors to keep your fucking 
you know, dilated pupils from night of partying, hidden from the fucking onlookers as you gallivant down the street. Again, a nice backpack there. Um, some of my favorite looks. Another one of my favorite looks is this exaggerated, really baggy um, shirt that's been teamed up with the boots as well. And uh, what it looks like, an, another twist on the Kaggle has been really popular too for Balenciaga. So I love the look of that also. And it kind of reminds me also of uh, some woman that I remember seeing wearing a really baggy Tom Brown shirt with high heels. So I've always liked this look on women baggy baggy shirt nothing underneath for the boots on so that looks really cool another really good look with the hoodie um again this design that them them has kind of popularized this idea of turning the sweatshirt into like a hood scarfing so it looks like that sweatshirt is connected to the inside of a hoodie so when when you put the hood up you have the sweatshirt you know sleeves hanging from either side i love the look of that and again the boots and then you've got the overshirt again i like again in black and it's really cool and baggy and then you've got one of my favorite looks this is one of my favorite looks in the entire collection this particular look it kind of looks like kanye to be fair especially even the model that they kind of casted and the style kind of reminds of something that you see yay wearing but this with the black boots with the pants stuck you know tucked into the boots the big baggy shirt the hoodie with the sweatshirt on top of it like design stitched in it looks really fucking cool i love everything about this look one of my favorites on there and then you've got another really good favorite look as well which i like which is these leather biker pants which if i'm not mistaken are the same leather biker pants that were done last season that were attached to those micro motorcycle boots instead of these you're just taking off the motorcycle which you just turn them into leather biker pants again a really nice look with a big leather bag um i love the contrast here again with the pants with a different type of jeans different finishes you've got a light wash on the left and, and a dark wash here on the right sleeve as well and then you continue on um this is just in terms of a layering piece i really i don't know not something that i'd probably wear but in terms of looking wise I just like the addition of this top that looks like it has a t-shirt sewn on top on top of a vest on top of a long sleeve again maybe it's all one piece i'm not really too sure how it's constructed but i just love the look of that um it looks kind of you know it looks a little it looks a little bit for lack of a better term trampy but i love it and then of course you've got some really kind of quintessential balenciaga looks here with these amazing pink ensemble there and again the tight boots as well and i really did love this suiting as well with this exaggerated shoulders um with this kind of sateen type material this loose fitting trousers i think these will look really cool hopefully someone wears this on a, on, on a red carpet one day um i really like that suiting option there that was pretty impressive and again the same suit option in a different material now i think there was four of these probably didn't need to put all four on the runway because it's just the same suit in different materials but apart from that i did enjoy most of it and of course it ended how most balenciaga show ends with what looks like a wedding evening gown type of a garb and i love the fact that it's got this really big funnel neck so that the participant is hidden from the glare of the paparazzi and you've got the amazing little kind of high heel bag that can turn into a weapon as well if somebody tries it on you so big fan of it i loved it but again the main thing i loved about the entire collection is definitely the shoes these sneakers these free xl shoes i'm all over them and i think these might be my replacements for my triple s's because i'm still cut up that my original made in italy balenciaga triple s's died on me during the pandemic obviously i wasn't wearing my designer cool shit everything was in storage but i didn't put the gel packs into the boxes of the shoes i had so a lot of my shoes died and one of the shoes that died that kills hurts me to this day are my balenciaga triple s's in the black that i had to throw them away because the entire sole was disintegrating so i would need to replace them but so far the sneakers i've seen for balenciaga haven't been that impressive but these really tickle my fancy they're very exaggerated, they're very enormous, very just impractical, they look kind of ugly, but they're really, really up my lane. And even more so when I saw the side profile picture of them, courtesy of this um, GQ article. If you scan down here on the GQ article, there's actually a side profile picture of them, and I think they actually look better side profile then they look front profile if you see this this one here in the gray blue and neon type of color they actually look quite cool there on the side profile more so than they look on the front but these are definitely a sleeper this is definitely a shoe that you're going to see a lot of people buying i think they're going to be a big hit um this up and coming season when they end up going to the stores these look really fucking cool you've got some great colorways here you've got this great black and gray colorway if anything i'd probably pick some of the ones with the lighter midsole maybe the ones that's featured on there which i have on here this page right with the black 
with the sort of, sorry with the quintessential running shoe feature like you know the greys and the blues and the whites white mitts on shit i'd probably go over those in the all black pair but they definitely look really cool i love the look of them to be honest this might be my favorite thing from the collection those and those massive ugg boot type things that i want so the shoe courtesy of state grounded says it's actually called a 10 xl sneaker not free so it's a 10 xl sneaker absolutely wild so you have this really big sole so midsole um i'm not too sure if it's one of those shoes where it's a bit of a um optical illusion where maybe it actually is kind of what's that word called it is um it is encapsulated so the actual sole is somewhere around here so it doesn't actually it looks a lot more higher than what it actually looks like so maybe your foot actually sits maybe quite low on the shoe who knows but i think it actually does sit quite high i think that's the entire midsole is all this shit here so they're really quite big really really quite big but i really fucking love them and you've got this really cool design here it looks like a free but it's actually like a b on the side great little bits of paneling and it kind of looks a bit a little bit a little bit like a balenciaga and so a little bit like an Asics that's been obviously, you know, pumped up full of steroids. But I really do like the look of them. I think they look really fucking cool. I'm all over these. And obviously they've got the same pair in white as well if you want a pair. I think the all white pairs don't really look too great. I think I prefer them with the with the bits of colour on the upper. Um but yeah, you got them available in the black and the white. But I think the colour that I would probably go for would definitely be that kind of this colourway that's featured here. But yeah, the shoes definitely were the standout for me in this collection. As you can see, those Uggs and those boots there. And I really did enjoy it. I'm not going to lie. I thought this Blessed collection was pretty decent. But I can understand a lot of fans um, or a lot of kind of fashion critics in general being a little bit tired of the Blessed aesthetic and aesthetic. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I don't think Demna has an outlet that he can i don't know i think part of it might be the fact that demna doesn't have the, another outlet that he can maybe put some of this stuff in i feel like there maybe needs to be an outlet like again like a veteran maybe his own namesake brand that he could do where he could put some of those you know ideas of like elevated streetwear elevated everyday wear on and then use Blenciaga as a way to maybe adhere to the codes go back into the archives you know really lean into the couture a bit more and maybe just present a different aesthetic overall but it kind of feels a bit samey but for me i'm still with it like this look you know i'd wear this look in a fucking heartbeat with this kind of you know bedazzled silver bag with a gray suit with a big baggy white t-shirt the pants tucked into the boots like it's very sloppy it's very you know it's very kind of every it's kind of what you'd expect from fucking bless Yoga, but definitely it's still a bit fresh it's something that you wouldn't get from any other fucking collection out there and again what a strong way to open the show right you got a guy walking the first dude walking the runway with his top off on the phone with glasses on something that you'd see loads of guys doing in LA jogging down the street and shit so I'm not really too mad at it in that respect I think it did do a good way of kind of illustrating or representing all those dudes that you'd see walking around in LA um out there if anything so yeah big up Demna big up Valencia I can't wait to see those shoes when they eventually drop can't see them when they eventually drop <laughs>